Yes, that sounds like a very good uh, program. Um, so much misconception about people's disabilities. Um, so it's good. It's a good reform because there are a lot of people out there who are disabled, and people do make fun of them. You know, the classic terms of spastic and retard, um, once known as technical terms, but they've become sort of almost outlawed because of the improper use, non-scientific use. Um, but what's really odd is that there are some people out there who are not really disabled, who are being disabled by um, society and it's, it's an absolute misery for them. Um, but, you know, it's not to discount the other disabled people with disabilities because the annoying thing is, is you see people in wheelchairs. Um, they should theoretically have better technologies available to them. And I just thought of another very key aspect is that we have technology available um, to make people hear. You know, it's called a cochlear implant. Sorry for that sounding so obvious, but but not enough people who are deaf are getting them. Um, they can't afford it. And with this global financial crisis and people tightening their belts and and unfortunately corporate greed is, 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 is implicated here and there are a lot of homeless people as well. Um, cochlear implants have been around. I've seen them in, you know, I saw someone wearing one in 1986 in my high school. So they should, period people should theoretically have had them at least 20 years ago as a standard issue. Um, it'd be really good to involve, if companies could be more philanthropic about d dishing out or handing out, you know, and other things, like prosthetic limbs. Um, people should really have um, bionic limbs and bionic um, pieces to, as well, not just, not just cochleas, but they should theoretically be able to access um, bionic limbs and so they can have almost full range of movement to a normal human, a normal person, you know, and basically um, that's basically, that would be a really good thing, but they're very expensive um, and people don't seem to, the people who are in control of um, corporations don't seem to have that sort of mindset. Um, it's horrible to see that, you know, and so it's kind of odd because the people, there are people who could help, but they are not being allowed to help because many of, to get these bionic limbs and to, and also even to get existing technologies, we have people who, you know, used to be admired and they're, they're typically, they're mainly known as, used as ethical, right, um, honest people. They don't possess eloquent um, communication skills required for today's workplace. But when you put them in an R&D lab, and they can work very hard and very efficiently without whinging or without wanting a, a raise, a pay packet raise. And they, at the moment, are consuming disability um, pensions because they call it a social disability. But really, my analysis is it is not a disability. It's only the attitude. It's called, you've probably heard the term dissing a person's ability. Well, these people have been dissed, but they're actually costing taxpayers billions of dollars. And it, it doesn't just happen in Australia, it's happening worldwide. And there are millions of them. Um, the term they, they found on, they can be found in YouTube, they can be found in Facebook or in cyberspace. They're a very common entity and they don't talk like normal people. They, well, again, we'll just say up to the chase. They've got Asperger's syndrome. And, that's, and, and they're often referred to as nerds and geeks. They play their Xboxes, they play their, their computers. Um, people don't like seeing people do that. They say that normal people say that they're lazy and, and, and basically slackers, you know. Um, they also exhibit antisocial behaviours too, um, very badly. And they're also very depressed and very miserable because basically they've got nothing to inspire them or to make them happy. So. I mean, all normal people have certain needs, like just to break it down into specifics, they need a, a rewarding career. They need some kind of revenue to make them feel comfortable, you know. They need a friendship network, especially with like-minded individuals or groups, community. They need also a partner to love them and to have under their house. So, you know, even a big luxurious mansion is, is, is cold without a loving husband or wife or spouse. Um, 
also additionally the and then and then of course they need a place to live. It's called a home. It's called a place to to decorate. It's, you know, decoration, renovations. You know, make your house look nice, sort of thing. And and these things are uh, enshrined by regular normal people, a person with Asperger's. It's called neurotypical. So they're the majority in what they say goes these days. Everything they say is is truth. They've they've, they've got numbers. But people with Asperger's syndrome number like one in every 300 and there seems to be an increase in the diagnosis. Um, so one in 300 is actually being given a bleak future because those things I just mentioned have been ripped away from them and they live in squalid conditions in housing department, department of housing typically. They live in parents places. Most of them don't have friends or many of them don't have very wide network of friends. They're trying to mix in with normal people and they get very upset, very hurt. They're being treated for being task oriented, for being too obsessed with their equipment, but they haven't got jobs to go to that reflect their passions. So they they become a nuisance. They become they waste, they, they use substitutes like Xbox and and computer programming. They may even be hacking your computer because they need something to to stimulate their mind, and and they get angry. They might be hacking. They hate organisations because they're all being given an individualist tag. They all live alone in normal society. They live on the fringes and they are doing damage. They might even be the vandals who are ruining your bus shelters. They might even be so alienated they are. And they've been implicated in crimes such as mass murders and and, and they're also suicidal. They also they fear everything as well. They, they're both dangerous to themselves and dangerous to other people when they've been pushed beyond a certain tilt, a certain limit. But they really, if they, when they're functioning properly, they don't exhibit those selfish antisocial behaviours at all. In fact, they can be the most loving and endearing people. Research has shown that if you put them, if you give them the things that they love, because they love to have, a, they love to, they're one people people, so they make, they really desire love, a spouse. But having a spouse like a job is is is, is un, almost unheard of. They do like, they do humiliating type jobs, and. To see the lives of these people disintegrate, they were the, they were the scientists, they were the R&D workers of the 1990s and and previously. Bill Gates is implicated to have possibly ha have um, Asperger's, and he's married. Why is it Einstein didn't get the same raw dud end of the stick? They're all, they're getting mentally sick, and they're exhibiting all sorts of um, mental illnesses because they're not getting the things that they humanly need, and but the good thing is, at least it's a good start to see that, that disabilities are getting recognised because one of the things I dream of doing is to form my own group. You know, I'd like to create a Silicon Valley and among the things that would be built there, my specialty is, I won't mention my specialty, um, it's a very normal thing, which it's a very indispensable tool for everyone that really needs an upgrade, but there are other areas that I'm fascinated with, like renewable energies and fixing global warming and giving money to the poor if I could run a corporation so big in my favourite field. Um, I'd be so happy and I'd want to give away at least 10% of the spoils, whereas a person who's normal may just run a corporation because they just want the money and, and give it to themselves and they don't care about the product or anything, so they could be running a bionic limb company and they may not care about creating really good bionic limbs, so they, or, or giving enough money to, or, or handing them out to the people who really need them, so they keep it for themselves. And only the rich disabled, which are really rare, get 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 the necessary support. And then of course that costs money in pensions. So if everyone could get cochlear implants, that alone could could save millions this year on disability pensions. I saw a deaf mute in 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 a street last year. And all she needed was a cochlear, and then she could have. She was selling um, big, the Big Issue magazines, and it was horrible because I wanted to talk to her, but I don't know sign language, and she couldn't speak. And I just think, bugger, fire out! This is so cruel, and it's not good for her, and it's not good for that, for for the taxpayers. Who, and then of course, that's another area people with Asperger's syndrome get hated because they cost the taxpayers. Eighty-five percent of them can't get jobs, but most of them can work. Another thing to note also is Mission Beat have also got 
a plan to put these mentally ill people, which would be mainly Asperger people, into work that's so like, inhumane. And the religious organisations like the church are not nice to them either. They call them, they call them evil and sinners because they are too obsessed with their machines, they're idolaters. And that, of course, creates what's called the perse persecutory effect, which is common in schizophrenia. Persecution, in a sense of, I'm a sinner, because they're very good people, and many of them were Christians or were religious, but but many of them have turned to drugs and sin, and they feel rotten. So being feeling as if you're good and evil at the same time is like, it's like hell on earth. It's like staring into the pit in your imagination. Imagine how that feels, as well as having all the collateral damage on top of that. The world's crushing in. You've got nothing, you've got no love, and the thing that's missing is love. No love on the inside, no love on the outside. You're just a walking dead. That's why they identify with entities like zombies and walking dead, because that's exactly, that's almost like what they've become. And then they don't care about people. They lose their empathy because they're trying to support their own system. It's, it's disgusting, but, but, you know, word has to get out. But I really appreciate to see that, you know, maybe that could be an area that could be more concentrated on, but... But that's good to see some positive action anyway in the right direction. You can only make small steps. You can't do it all at once. Thank you for, this, for listening to this. Goodbye.